Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Friday, March 25th, 2022. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, take time to give God praise. Because He is worthy of your praise. He is worthy of your worship. He is worthy of your thanksgiving. Our scripture reading for today is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 18, verses 30 to 34. The scripture says, as, as for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is God save the Lord, or who is a rock save our God? It is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet, and setteth me up upon my high places. He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. We're gonna finish up this series here on, on Psalms chapter eighteen, this series of help for, for battles. We've been talking about spiritual battle all week. I encourage you to go back and listen to each individual episode. So you can see what it is that that we're learning here, principles we're learning that's going to help us when we go through our time of spiritual battle. And in verses 32, or starting in verse 32, going down to 34, we see David is, is saying, it is God that does certain things. For instance, in verse 32, it is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. Verse 33, it is God who, who maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon my high places. And now in verse 34, once again, David is talking about something that God is doing for him. He, in other words, he's, he's saying that his, his, his wisdom in battles doesn't come from him, but it comes from God. He says, he teaches my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. He teaches, it is God that teaches my hands to war. God teaches him how to, how to war. God teaches him how to hold the spear, hold the sword. He teaches him what to do in these hand-to-hand combats. But I think he also is referring to the spiritual realm here too. Because God teaches us how to battle, and that is on our knees in prayer. It's the best way for battle. That's right. I said on my knees in prayer is the best way to combat a spiritual battle. But David said he teaches my hands to war. God teaches him what to do in the battle, how to fight the battle, how to escape the enemy, how to sidestep the enemy. Whatever it is that David has to do, God is teaching him those things. And then he says, he's teaching them things so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. A lot of the biblical scholars said that that's an image that that David would would end up with his opponent's sword or, or bow or whatever that, that the person might be fighting with. David would end up with it and destroy it because God's taking care of that stuff. Friends, there's going to be a time that's going to come into your life where you're going to fight a spiritual battle. Some things to remember is that the battle is God's, but God is going to do things for you. Remember the verse 32, it is God who gives him strength. It is God who makes his way perfect. It is God who helps him escape his enemies. It is God who, who seats him in spiritual places. It is God who teaches him how to war. And it is God who who helps him through each and every day. As for God, his way is perfect. My way is perfect when I'm following God. Why? Because God's way is perfect. 
Remember those things in spiritual battle. Don't let the devil get you all worked up. Because if you're following God, if you're right with God, if you're following his footsteps for your life, if you're on the path, then God's going to fight that battle. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you. And then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. (laughs) 